Do you feel like you're overwhelming your partner when it comes to initiating sex? I got you. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Ganowski, sexologist and sex coach for men. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been subscribed, welcome back. I wanna to talk to you guys about taking it step by step when it comes to making sex progress in your relationship with your partner. You can't go zero to 100. I always tell this to men <laughs> who I'm coaching or speaking to on my Instagram or whatever. It's one of my main rules. Don't take it zero to 100. And what that means is if you're lacking intimacy in your relationship and you see some post on Instagram that's like, kiss your woman for six seconds because oxytocin, the bonding hormone will connect you. And then you go home and you initiate a six second kiss when you guys haven't fucking kissed in like a year. It's gonna freak her out. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. I get that you have good intentions and you're like, hey, I learned this thing, let's try it. But if that is so far beyond what you guys are used to doing, it's gonna be too intense and overwhelming for her to play a part in, all right? So if her head's not in it and it's just too much too soon based on where you guys are at, you gotta slow it down. You gotta take it step by step. That's why one-on-one -on -one coaching is so specific and for the individual, because I'm like, okay, if you're here with your partner, meaning, okay, so a client right now of mine, he hardly talks to his wife about anything other than work or task stuff. They still get along great. They have, they're very respectful towards each other. They handle conflict pretty well, um, but they don't have a lot of personalized communication. So for him, if he's wanting to improve his sex life, I literally told him, ask her about this thing you guys are going to later on in the week. See if she's excited about it. And he was like, wow, I would never do that. And I'm like, I know, but like, is it easy enough of a step to do it? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I can accept that challenge. So for him, it still felt like a challenge, but I'm meeting him where he's at. I'm letting him take one baby step towards the end result, which is a more frequent sex life. But you gotta rewind. You can't just go from having no sex to all of a sudden initiating and like, doing all this crazy stuff and like asking her if she wants to do this new position. If you're not doing it at all, if you have no emotional connection, that's really thriving. You know, if you don't talk to each other on a personal level, that sex is not gonna happen. And even if it does, it will be a spontaneous one and done type thing that hardly happens again. My thing is always don't take a zero to 100, take it based on where you are at. Don't compare your life and your situation sexually with your with your friends or what you see on instagram most of it's bullshit anyway so don't listen to that pay attention to where you're at and give yourself credit for the steps you take you know this one client was like oh god like the fact that i don't even do this i know it's bad i'm like dude that's why you're here like you're getting help and this is the step you need just like with every client sometimes it's hey tr like give her a peck on the cheek and it goes in the direction towards more intimacy and more sex you know, then there's clients, of course, who are like that we have consistent sex, but we want to feel more connected. And then that's another story where those action steps are more erotic and they're more a bit on the intense side of the spectrum. But you got to start where you are at. Make sure that you're giving yourself credit. Um, make sure that you're not jumping too far ahead, because when you take the little steps, you're more likely to get wins, feel really good about it and continue on. You want more help around this? please join my school community. It's seven bucks a month right now. The price will go up eventually, but it's there to help you to understand what to say in different sex scenarios, what to do so that you don't feel lost and you feel like you can improve your sex communication skills and your performance and mindset around sex. And I'm here to help you guys, you heterosexual men exclusively, because I know how much support you need. I want you to know that I value you and I respect you and I want you to not feel so much pressure as you do and as you've been taught to feel. And I want you to enjoy sex and know how to talk about it in a, in a confident and effective way with your woman. I'll see you there. If not, then I'll see you in the next video.